All right, guys, welcome back to another part of Life is Strange. Episode 4 finally came out, so I'm super excited to see what happened. <coughs> Excuse me. Last time we left... Oh, I don't know which gameplay. Uh, the first one. Last time we left off, Daniel killed everyone. So, continue. I'm assuming the first one was my actual save, because I know I played through to see if I could get multiple endings, but... We did pretty good, so far. Once upon a time, in a wild, wild world, there were two wolf brothers living in their home lair with their papa wolf. Papa wolf. They lived in peace until hunters took their dad away. <coughs> and they had to go on the run. That's when the big brother discovered that the little one was not an ordinary wolf, but a super wolf. Super wolf. They discovered a secret hideout where they could train day and night. They were happy. But the little wolf got very sick and they had to move on. The brothers made it to the home of their ancestors and the old wolves took care of them. Unfortunately, it's becoming a good the story. hunters were hot on their trail and found them. The brothers had nowhere to stay again, so they decided to keep going south. To grow marijuana. They soon entered the old forest of the giants, where they met a pack of stray dogs who worked in a secret farm. The brothers joined them and worked hard to stock up on gold for the future. They were happy to find others like them, and everybody loved the little wolf, who was growing up fast. His power was growing too. The little wolf was more and more confident and independent. The big brother hooked up with a cool she dog. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we did. <laughs> they had their own adventures. Suddenly, the mean farmers who owned the land tried to hurt the brothers. The leader of the pack was killed. The little cub turned into a super wolf <laughs> and destroyed everything. The big brother was badly wounded. And worse, he didn't know where the little cub was. He left because he's a dick. <laughs> God, he was being a real dick, though, for real. All right. I do like how it recaps the whole thing with the storyboard, though. That's really cool. I like that. Really well freaking drawn. What happened? <laughs> oh, it's Bambi. Run, Bambi, run. Guess we gotta go find Daniel, right? Probably. Oh, it's me. What's my dude's name again? I can't remember. What's your name? Diego. No, God. Uh, Daniel and. Hey, Sean. Sean. There we go. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. It was a bad idea. Daniel. Are we flashing back? No way. It's all good. I wish I listened when you tried to stop me from going with Finn. Oh, we're together. I was too pissed. It's okay, dude. You're my brother. And that's all that counts. What happened? So, why don't you come and get me? Oh, we're dreaming. I am coming, dude. Dang. Once I wake up from my coma. I'm alone, Sean. 
I don't know what to do. I'm scared. Don't get so close to that edge. Please. Jump, you Come all. Get me. Yes, I, I swear. Wee! <laughs> there you Stop. go. Oh man, I'm bald. What happened? Damn, he knocked the hair off my head with his powers. Oh, and I'm a pirate. <laughs> well, you are our fiddle dee dee. Oh. Being hospitalized is life for me. Two months after the blast of Merrill's. God dang. We're looking rough. Fuck. Look, it's looking for the sketchbook. I can't even focus on the page. This sucks ass, man. Probably hard to draw with one eyeball. I can't read that. Uh, was in a coma for weeks, blind and fucked. <laughs> That sounds exciting. Plus, in police custody, going to jail soon. Hospitals freak me out. Hate this. Where's Daniel? I'm scared. Yeah, that sucks. Let's read this. Tried to draw to kill the time. This room is like a cage, but I suck now. No depth perception, no art, no shit. Focusing equals immediate migraine. Going crazy in here. Woke up crying. Damn, life is hard. Special Secret Agent Flores. She's trying to bond with me. Trap me or trust me. So fucked. Cops still can't find Daniel after explosion, so he's out there alone. Oh crap. I was trying to read that too. Happy birthday, Daniel, wherever you are in Nano. Claire and Steven sent me a nice letter. So lo so lonely I read it twice. Weird how I miss him now. So cool to hear from Captain Spirit too. Glad he's doing fine. My Joey sketch doesn't look bad. So glad he's around. Oh, Joey's my new friend? Cool. I'm glad we made a friend, at least. Wish I could hear Cass play songs again. All those songs are gone, but not our time together. Ah. Greed kills. Bat for what? Oh. Bat <laughs> for what? Greed kills for what? <laughs> oh, I don't know why I read this, Bat. It's alright. This must be my punishment. We didn't do anything wrong. This is number one bullshit. That's the worst part about this game. We've done nothing wrong. And we're getting punished for it. Oh my god, I got one eyeball. Alright. We're gonna have to exert for a little bit extra time. The one-eyed Avenger. That's my super villain name, or my superhero name. So hard to focus. I like how they're making you draw stuff to your left side so you have to pay attention to you. Way more. The fact your eyeball's missing. I'm not giving up. I have my wolf tattoo. <laughs> I gotta look to the I left. Guess that's an okay start. But I can keep going. I like how he still has the optimistic thing when he's like looking at things because it's like scripted since the start. But then he's like, I suck in like real game time. Oh, staircase. Oh. Who wants to be drawn? Stairway to heaven, baby. Hopefully we don't kill ourselves. That's really cool. Gotta stay optimistic, fam. Wish I could find a highway to freedom. We can find a highway to hell. <laughs> oh, I got an achievement. T. Kierosuko. Let's look at the TV. Yay. Yeah. Stupid reality shows. Is this a reality show? You need to look better with your special eyes. It looks like a blank screen to me. I'm supposed to call the nurse when I'm done eating. Uh, guess I'm done. Yeah. Thanks for the card, agent. Oh, any time, day or night, if Can't you want to talk. Can't wait to text you. Oh, do I have a phone? Lol. Can't catch shit. Can't catch shit. Oh, depth perception. I know that feeling. Goodbye, sports. We never were playing sports anyways. We were on the run. Oh, we got a letter from Cassidy. I miss Cass so much. Hey, Sean. Bet you're surprised to hear from me. I wish she could hold me in her arms right now. 
I found out we were in the same hospital from the police after they questioned us, and I was checked out a month ago, so I took the chance to write and hope you get this. Wish I could say everything I want, but you know, never know who's reading this. If anybody else is reading this, fuck you. <laughs> My heart is still broken over Finn's death, and we... Wait, did she say her parents checked her out? Wish I could say... And I was checked out a month ago. Okay. My heart is still broken over Finn, and we can't, we all can't believe somebody with so much life isn't here anymore. I have dreamed about him all the time. Yeah, he was a fuck up, but he was our fuck up in our family. I truly hope you are okay after what happened. As for me, I don't remember much except the explosion at Merrill's office, and then I woke up in the hospital with blunt trauma, healing, and what the doctors call blast lung injury, hurting. I could still play the guitar and sing, not that I feel like it anymore, but I miss playing for my sweet Quim Padre. You probably know more about what's going on than me, but Hannah, Penny, and I were released without charges. The police were stoked to bust a farm of drug traffickers rather than us gutter punks tolling in the field. We asked about you and Daniel, but got no answer. Surprise. So with Finn gone, our family, rail, our rail family is a roadkill. Now we're just a lonely trio, train hopping all over, but it feels like we're in a loop to nowhere. Hannah and Penny aren't the same, and we fight too much. I'm not even sure how long we'll be together. Shit changes, right? But no way I'm going back to Hillsboro. I know you're going to be to trial soon over the Seattle situation, and you will get the justice and freedom you deserve. You and Daniel are amazing brothers, and I hope you find your way home soon. I hope we can swim naked again under the moon, a new moonlight. It's a big world, and maybe we'll meet again someday. Peace and love, Cassidy. Yeah. Gotta work on them damn night moves. Talk about night moves. Oh, Bob Seeger. All right. What else we got? I guess we can press the button now. Oh, help me. 911. What is with this? Terrible room service. Hit the button again. Well, this is lame. Do I just have to sit here awkwardly until somebody comes? Well, well, well. This must be my punishment. This is proverbial hell! Joey must hate the sound of this thing. Joey's the fam, though, right? He's our buddy, I think. Yo. What's up, man? Afternoon checkup. Hey, what's up, Joey? <laughs> Good day, sunshine. Good morning. Hey, Joey. Hey, man. Hey, at least we made a friend. That was pretty good handshaking for. Like Might have been food. No depth perception. Hard to tell. Ha ha. Never heard that before. Oh, somebody is in a bad mood. Sorry, Joey. Not feeling it today. Mm, I don't blame you. But maybe I got something to cheer you up. We cons and chocolate. Uh oh. Oh, it's a cookie. There's that smile. <sighs> Thanks, Joey. So how you feeling today? Any headaches? Socket pain? <sighs> no. It's all good. Well, this is your final test before. Mm, you know. Before they check you out. Check me out to Juvie. Yeah. <clears throat> Okay, let's see. You know the drill. Don't blink and just stare at the light. Yes. Nice retina response. Okay. Now. Is my try stream lagging? Like follow the light Looks as like well it is. as you can. Hmm. Come on, Sean. You've been there before. You need to stop moving it so fast, dog. Good. Keep going. Quick response. Nice. Remember, to see objects on your left side, you gotta turn your head more now. Yes. My ball just good, straight try. gone, dog. Now try to align your pen with mine. I'll try. No Wait, rush. Much. 
This is tough. Wait, what am I supposed to do? Oh, hell, this is impossible. It's got to be closer, right? Oh, I have bad depth perception anyways, dude. Your depth perception will always be affected. <laughs> so you got to try harder. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, I know. Holy oh, shit, oh, I am so bad on. at this. <laughs> yeah, that's enough. Fuck, man. Too much stress on you and your eye. But remember, that's like impossible. It's so far away. Be affected. Hmm. Here, read this. We're cleared. I'm a pirate without a patch. Arr. I'd be more worried if you weren't such a smart ass. You can try, but you can't rig the exam, Sean. <sighs> it's time we release you. Sorry. Your vision has improved a lot. Now you don't really have severe side effects anymore. Yeah. That's good, at least. That's just great. I do have to tell them the truth. But first, let's clean this dress. Hey. Sure hope you're watching the door like your phone. Oh, come on. <sighs> it ain't going nowhere. Great. All I do is watch him. Oh, it's yes, Flores, it's I'm guessing. Your job. Was that her name? Do girl? you mind if we talk alone? Mind if I finish with my patient? He looks good for now, right? Just come Damn. back when I'm finished with him. Damn, she's kind of a dick. Sure. I'll swing by later, Sean. Stay cool. What's up, girl? You want to interrogate me? So, how are you feeling today, Mr. Diaz? Amazing. Like shit. Did you find Daniel? Melbourne. I want to go over this again. What? I've been telling the same fucking story for three weeks. How much longer? Until it makes sense. Until you get it right. So, silence isn't gonna help you now. What do you mean, get it right? Listen close, Sean. Tomorrow you're going to Jolina Shore and you'll be arraigned in court for the murder of a Seattle police officer. You might spend the rest of your life in prison or you can talk to me. I'll go to prison. I didn't kill anyone. Yeah. The end. So, who did? You do know. It's just, I can't. Was Daniel involved? Is that why you can't talk? No, no way. And you're absolutely sure your dad didn't go after the officer? Yeah, he came outside. Sh then was he shot. was killed. That's what yeah. he did. Just guilty of being... Who knows? I hear you, but... You're sure you didn't get upset and go after the officer? It happens. Jesus, no! Look at me! Okay, let's just jump ahead. Tell me what happened in that farm in Humboldt. We have a young homicide victim, shot to death. The place looks like a tornado wiped it out. I've told you so many times. I have no clue why the place was trashed. I passed out. Plus two seriously wounded, along with you. And a missing child. Daniel has Nobody's superpowers. Matches with each other. Sean. Throw me a bone here. What do you want from me? Can't you see I want to help? So you haven't found my brother? Excuse we me. might have some leads. You can help by telling me the truth. Okay. Fuck. The robbery. Whose idea was it? His? Or yours? Huh? 
I'm sure it was Finn's. Finn, it was his idea to rip off Marrow. Did he force you to help? I'm not or taking a hit for that. Yes, I went along. I had to get money for Daniel. No choice. I swear. Swear. I didn't Can't remember think what I did. Like this was going to happen. Nobody does, Sean. Until it's too late. Yeah. Now I know. And what about Cassidy? She planned all this with Finn? No. She was against the stupid plan. She had nothing to do with it. Yeah. Your friend had to learn the hard way. With his life. They didn't deserve it. We all make mistakes. Yeah. Well, some mistakes are worse than others. By the way, we contacted your grandparents in Beaver Creek. About it. They can visit you after you're transferred. Might oh. be a while, but you do have a support group. We couldn't track down your mother, though. Sorry. Good. What about Daniel? You said you had leads. I said might. Uh, hold on. I gotta take this call. I can't remember if Finn made me do it or if I think Finn, I think I was kind of made to do it because I wasn't planning on doing it. The robbery when I played it the first time. Oh, what a ding dong. Fuck. That Finn got murdered, dog. She didn't want anything to do with this. Bet you wish you were back on the farm, asshole. Sorry, Hannah. Hope the cops didn't mess with Penny. Prison would fuck him up. Can't hear her. Oh, she must be talking to her kid. It's time to escape out the window. Can't do anything. What is she saying? Alexa, translate. <laughs> God dang. Sorry about that. Okay. So what's going on with Daniel? You really have leads? Yes, we do. That's our job. The Bureau put his profile out over four states. You suck at your so job. So we are on the case. Obviously. You lied to me. You have no leads. You have no fucking idea where my brother is. I don't lie, Sean. But you did. No, you did. And your brother is paying the price. No, you did. You stupid... Fuck. You. Yeah. I'm done. Anyway. Yeah, I hear you, dang. Thanks for talking to me. I'll be back tomorrow to take you to Jolina Shore. Oh, I won't be here, jackass. So, how about that one? Ugh. Yeah, she's kind of a dick. Now we gotta figure out a way out of here, bro. Out. I have to hey, what's up, Joey? Guard the guard now. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Sit down so we can get this show going. I just stood up. So. Oh, what are we playing? How did your interview with Scully go? Great. Detective Flores said I'm free to go. Woohoo. Oh, uh, this shit is all wrong, man. You've been out of the garden for three weeks now. We talk every day. I can see that you're a good person. Thanks for that, Joey. Thanks, Joey. Want to tell that to the judges? I'm just saying. <laughs> you don't deserve this. Well, are you going to help me escape, dog? Now, let's check this out. 
Oh no. The healing is coming along nice. Oh, he's still got an eyeball. It Just looks gotta like. keep it clean for the next week or so. Simple. That's great. Seen the shrink this morning? Make my eye water. Nothing I want to hear. This will take time and rehab, Sean. You have to process first. Ugh. I could tell myself that shit. Clearly, I'm no therapist, but I've nursed patients with your injury. Mm -hmm. They all turned their anger into energy. You will too. <laughs> Plus, the glass eye tech is pretty cool now. <laughs> oh, I got a glass eye? Sean? Damn, he did not my eyeball out. I hear you. I'm trying to be positive. But it's so hard. I know. I do. But I promise there's a treat coming your way. Now as for your wound, this is the last time you hear this from me. You have to clean it with sterile gauze and saline solution. Hmm. And where's the part where I escaped to save my brother? It's go time. Coat the area using the swab and cream. Hey. Then wrap it up with clean dressing. And you're the shit. Thanks, bro. Remember, you got to do this. Four times a day. I won't forget. I'm sorry about everything, Sean. Wish I could have done more. Did he say four times a Peter, day? You saved my ass here. You're the only one I trust. It really helped. Cool. I'm glad when I can make a ch Oh shit. Oh, emergency. Shit. Not an emergency. I'm out. I'm out too, dog. Smoke break. Let's say our goodbye tomorrow. Oh, Sean, You won't see me tomorrow. Check out that towel. Got your name all over it. Catch you later. Did you leave me something good in the towel, Joey? Being a homie? I think Joey might be being a homie. Let's check out this towel. Oh, ho, it's a getaway. Wow. Oh. I haven't seen you in a long time. I don't need the notebook. I need a escape patch, dog. Why is he moving on his own? Stop moving, dude. Oh, it's glitch or something. He's moving on his own. I don't know why. I know I fucked Daniel over. Again. Daniel fucked himself over, dude. Like, to be honest. And now he's gone. Where would he hide out? A 10 year old by himself? Out there? He might go back to Seattle. But too far. Nowhere to go. If he tried to hook up with Claire and Steven, they would have definitely told me. Or the cops. Hmm. I don't know, Wait. dog. What's that? Super Wolf. Huh? Had a few beers, Daniel. It means that Daniel. A second. Daniel's with Jacob somewhere. He's safe. Is Jacob uh, Captain Spirit? <sighs> Had a few beers, Daniel's asleep. Same night every night. He wants to go, wants to train more. I borrowed a blanket and a few other things from your tent. We'll give them back to you when you come looking for your Super Wolf comic. It's waiting for you, Jake. Who's Jake? Is Jake the guy? Jake, the other guy that was in the hippie camp with me? Huh. Agent 420, give me hot dogs. Cassidy Wild versus Hannah the Wise. 
True story how shit. Kiranel is freaking me out. Depression night. Everyone said, shared their worst memory. Everyone felt like shit. What a wonderful world. Went to bed early again with Daniel. Kind of wish I could have stayed like ever, stayed like everyone else. So, man. Fucking woo. I'm a swear wolf. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Daniel messed up again. Gotta fix this shit. So fucking tired of running away. Okay, how do I get out of here? Escape. It won't let me put it down. What am I supposed to do? Haven Point. Nevada. Oh. Met the new workers from Europe, Anders and Ingrid. Had a long talk with Jacob. He's like a little kid. He's lived in some religious commune for... Okay. Maybe I have to... I don't know. Ah! So he's... Where Daniel's going? I gotta get to him. We're going to Heaven Point, Nevada. I gotta find a way to escape tonight. Uh, too easy, dog. Too easy. We have the connections. We have the technology. Sacred Hope Hospital. Okay. Use the bed sheet trick. Time to clear off now. This whole hospital is so quiet. So don't make any noise. And find a way to get the hell out of here. Nada. <laughs> Joey's the only one who helped me get through this shit. Pick it up. Might need that pen, you never know. Oh, we got a new achievement. Yeah. New perspective. Thanks for the card, Agent. Can't wait to text you. Find optional collectible item in number... Episode 4. Nice. <laughs> we have sheets? Yes! Maybe Take them. Uh, yes, we could. Pick them up. Decoy Sean in the bed. No, we're not doing that. We're gonna use them to go out the window, my dude. It's genius. Open the window. I know how to do this shit. Need a superhero to open that shit. Bro, there's a you're dumb. Oh my gosh. Hope my last view of this world isn't this window. One stupid car. And I'm out of here. It's dead tonight. Works for me. I could climb down the side of the building. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Or die trying. Or we could... Uh, there is a... Mm, let's see. Look at the bed. We can tie our bed sheet to it. Or we can make a fake body, whatever. Rather use it to escape, though. That looks so fake. Yeah, it doesn't even look close. But it might work for a second. I should close these. So nobody sees me sleepwalking away. Can I have some privacy, please? Wait a second now. Evacuation plan? Genius. I just gotta get past that locked door. And an angry guard. Too easy. <sighs> Wish I could just... walk out. All right, secret agent Sean. It's got to be somewhere around here. Sweet dreams, sucker. Hey, sir. Hello. I need medicine. Can't even take a nap 
Okay. What's wrong now? Head hurts. I need aspirin. That's a sad story. What an That's asshole. What an asshole. <laughs> I could... I could... Trick him into coming in here and then... Beat his ass. Knock him out. All right, we need something better. We go in the bathroom? Where's the light at? Do they not have lights in the bathroom? There must be a way to leave this room without alerting anyone. There's a switch. This must come loose. Pull it. Yes. Screwed in. Tear it off. We're gonna beat his ass. Let's do it. Give me that cardboard! <laughs> God. Hey, what the hell are you doing in there? That's beat your ass, Doc. Come in here. Let me show you. Nice. Man, I got something for you, my dude. Come in here. Hey, hello? I need help. Please. I need help. What? What's the matter, kid? Huh? My uh. head. It's killing me. I'm falling. I need help. And I can't get up. Your head's about to hurt real bad. If you're fucking with me. Oh yeah. What? He said, "Oh shit!" Hit him again. I hope we didn't kill him, but fuck it. Gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah, whoa. Well. That was definitely not the right answer. I was supposed to escape the peaceful way, but whatever. I need to check something real quick when we get to the next stopping spot. I gotta check something. Pretty bad shape if he's been kept here for so long. No, I'm not gonna cry for you, asshole. Well, it's not like I had a choice. It keeps giving me these big wolf things, but it's not like I got a choice. Someone had to leave their car unlocked. Might have to help it, dude. Ah, this one's unlocked. Get in there. Someone's watching me. Oh, we know how to hotwire. Yeah, I made a bad choice. I probably wasn't supposed to knock out the guard. I probably should have went down the scaffolding. 
Oh well. Where are we going? Oh, we're going to Nevada. I remember. Oh shit, we're falling asleep. Wake your ass up, dude! God, that's the last thing we need. You gotta at least keep one eye open. <laughs> In your case, you only have one eye. <laughs> you can't even blink, you can only wink at people. <laughs> oh, the struggle. Feels bad, man. I guess you can blink. Still got an eyelid. But now why he's being a pirate. Oh my god, we're going off the road. I can feel it in my soul. This part right here is when it's going from night to daytime. That is the easiest time to pass out and go to sleep while driving. From my experience. Like when the sun's first coming out, that's when you're most likely to go to sleep. This is where Daniel dies, or does Sean dies? So we got zero money, we got zero Daniel, we have a car at least, but that's all we got going for us right now. Life is Strange 2, Episode 4, Faith. We're doing it, I guess. We're doing something. Going to Nevada. Ooh. Damn, we've been driving for like 40 hours now. Like, Lord. Literally watched the sun rise and set like twice. Oh, Daniel been. Oh, I keep calling him Daniel. Sean, Sean been killing it, dude. Uh, that had to been a terrible drive. Well, I guess his adrenaline's probably flowing from escaping and stealing a car, so I guess it wouldn't be too bad. As bad, it'd still be really bad though. What's up with these little wispy spirit lines? I don't know. There's some ghostry afoot. A smoke and a cigarette living the life. It's funny how we found a lead before the cops did. The cops in this game were useless. They couldn't find me or Daniel when we, like, escaped. And I found out where Daniel was before they did. Ugh, cops are useless. With the help of Joey, of course. Uh, I'd be sleeping in the back seat, dog. I wouldn't be sleeping in the front. Fuck. Okay. Damn, we got a way to go. Straight ahead. Just a few more hours drive. Shh. 
She seems nice. We stole Sorry, her car. We stole her car, guys. Shit. Guess I fucked up her day pretty bad. That yeah, was kind of fucked up, dog. Drop off kids, pick up kids, night shift. Yeah, that's. I'm sorry. Oh, come on. It's everywhere. Did you interview everyone in that hospital? Or what? I already looked at that. She seems nice. Sorry I stole your car. Guess I'm kind of lucky I stole a smoker's car. Huh. <sighs> what a mess. Plotus can now add Grand Theft Auto to my file. Shit. Run out of gas. It will never hold until Haven Point. You got money? Guess I'm kind of oh, lucky. Oh, this. My bad. <laughs> my bad. Yeah, switch that off. Oh, wait. Switch it back on. My bad. Somebody's going to get us, I feel like. About to get got. In the desert. What the hell is that stuff? Oh, I can put my eyeball stuff back on. I guess. I don't need to get infected. That's the last thing I need. Alright. Careful. Don't make me do it myself. I don't have the depth perception, and I hate doing stuff. Oh. Oh, I hate eyeball stuff. Oh, man. It made my whole body cringe watching him put that swab near his eyeball. I should have listened to Joey. This is a mess. I don't even know how long I should keep on using this for. Man, I can't believe Daniel knocked her eyeball out. Get some sleep. I can't believe he's sitting in the sleeping in the front seat, dude. I'd definitely get in the back seat, and lay out. I'd stretch out. Or I'd sleep on top of the car. Back on the road, I guess. This isn't me, is it? That steering wheel doesn't look familiar, but maybe it is me. No, I don't think it is. Oh, it's a flashback. Or flash sideways, I don't know. I know he has hair, though. Still with me, Sean? <laughs> yeah. Just... This is him teaching me how to drive? Just don't do that when you're driving, my son. <laughs> so, uh, what's the verdict on the new car? Awesome. I know it's not a new board, but it's got four hot wheels. Thanks for finishing it, Dad. A perfect reward for your excellent report card. <laughs> this is what oh, should have been, shot. I guess. The stream's about to get... bullshit me when you need cash. Stream's about to get messed yeah, up. I'll try to be cool. No dad jokes, huh? No dad I jokes are the best. Too bummed out to go on a big road trip with your lovely papito, huh? <laughs> oh please, you're the coolest dad. How could I be bummed? Excuse me. <laughs> Where's my regular, emotionless son? <laughs> I appreciate it. Think we can hang out for five days without killing each other? Hell yeah. Haven't done that since I was a kid. Miss it. So do I. Been hmm. too long since we went padre hijo against the road. <sighs> Way too long. I love road trips. Good to hear. <laughs> Something bad's about to happen. Either way, boy talk. What's going on with that gin, huh? <laughs> you know, going okay, I guess. That was like pulling teeth. Well, I've got a week to find out the truth.
It's just... I don't get to see her too much. Kinda miss her. Oh, <laughs> you're hooked, my son. Don't worry. This is how it goes. Ah. That cellular Hello. device? Hello? I haven't had one of those in forever. Hola. Hello? Everything okay, Lila? Oh, Daniel better not be giving you any sass. <laughs> nah. He's an angel. We went to the swing pool, and now we're making popcorn for movie <laughs> night. Yes! It's so cool. Hey, Sean. Don't crash the car. Oh, we're about He's to crash. real slow and safe. Like a grandma. Thanks for checking in. We'll buzz you when we hit the motel. Lila, you ready? Sounds good. And Sean? Jen told me to say hi. Girl, <laughs> hey. I cannot wait to see you again. Jen says hi. <laughs> Sounds pretty good, Sean. <laughs> you think? Hmm. Maybe. Seriously, though. How are you really doing? Terrible. Damn, this is hard. I'm so different now. I don't even recognize myself. Because you've changed. It's like evolution. I know it hurts. <laughs> Big time. Guess I wasn't ready to change. I have total faith in you, Sean. Hmm. You're a Diaz. You were born to roam and find your way home. God, I love you, Dad. Wish I would have told you more. You didn't have to tell me. God, my you feelings. Me. Jesus Christ. It's getting rough. By the way, hey, wake up. Huh? Who the fuck are you? What? Yeah, what the fuck are you doing on our property? We're on the fucking road, you dick. Oh man, I crashed hard. Oh yeah? Come on out, boy. Who the fuck is that? Who the fuck are you Come talking to, bitch? Get out. Look, I'm leaving, okay? Uh, no you ain't. Uh, yeah, I am. Or I'll call the cops. You call the damn cops, you god dang. Let's get out of here. Don't get out of the car. No need to. I I'm leaving. Now. You deaf? I said. Help. Why did we not lock the door? Why is the car door not locked? We don't need cops to deal with assholes like you anyway. Listen, I don't want any trouble. Too late for that, boy. God so damn. Tell us what the fuck you're doing on our land? <sighs> There's a fucking sign. Didn't you see? Damn, it? I didn't hit the stupid I button. Was too exhausted. I guess I missed it. He's just a kid, and he's hurt. Look. Yeah? What happened to your eye? I... got into an accident. Oh, yeah? Uh-huh. Move it. Huh. Oh, we're fucked. Please. I just want to go. Ho-ho. <laughs> What's this? Drugs? For my yeah, eyeball, you do. My eye. Oh, yeah. Did you steal them? Like this car? Listen, it's not what you think. Oh, I think it is. You ain't the first beaner we caught. Oh my god. Take his backpack. Dude, oh, dude. come on. Yeah, leave us alone, dude. Get it. Let's see what he's holding. Fucking racist piece of shit. So? Nothing good. Any money? Fucking toys, man. You still play with toys? Seriously? It belongs to my brother. Leave it alone. Last time I punched something. God! Last time I punched somebody, they died, so... Nah, fuck it. You give me that goddamn toy Whoa, bag, you some bitch. Did not. That's it, boy. You gonna headbutt somebody with you fucking asshole. Up. Up. 
I hate this dude. Give me the fucking toy back, you Okay, Chad. We fucked with him. Let him go. He's got nothing. Hey. Hold on a sec, Mike. You speak Spanish, Pedro? Huh? What? 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 Hablas Espanol. <sighs> Chad. So, Professor, how do you say I'm a dirty thief? Soy un... Sucio ladrón. Soy un sucio ladrón. Nice. Sounds yeah. better when you say it. <laughs> this is fun. Now say, uh, I'm a dirty thief with one eye. Just give me the damn thing back, you fucking cock. All I want to do is learn Espanol. Damn, I, God, you got to be quicker. Someday, right? Shit. See, senor? So. One more lesson. How do you say, this is not my country? Fuck off. This is my country. Yeah. Did you so hear shit. that? Look, Chad, it's gonna rain. Let's go before we get soaked. No, we took the country back. Hold on. This little thief is fucking with me. You're really pissing me You're off. You're really pissing me off, you but fucking I'm give you one last chance. Two chromosome having bitch. Sing something. What? Just pass the audition and you're free. We'll be very upset if you refuse. I don't mind. I'm not his bitch. I don't know who the fuck you're talking to. I ain't your bitch, dog. No. Really? Okay. I warned you, boy. Stop! Stop it, Chad! What the fuck, man? Oh, those are the life of strange butterflies. <laughs> Holy cow, what are you doing? Listen, you little beaner. Get your shit and go. Now. I was going to anyways, you cocksucker. Did you give me my damn toy back, you fuck? Look, just drive straight and you'll hit the highway. Forget this happened, man, okay? Fucking assholes. Should spin around and hit him with the damn car. Hmm. God dang. Fuck! Fuck! <laughs> and we're out of gas. Wonderful. <laughs> Fuck, man. So the the wolf brothers were split apart. <sighs> the oldest wolf was badly hurt, but nothing could stop the wolf. From following his brother's tracks. My eyeballs are gonna get infected. Damn, this part's been fucking rough. I haven't done anything right yet, I don't think. Didn't escape right. Did not get on. Uh, got my ass beat. Lord almighty. Snake. <sighs> Gotta keep moving, man. 
I ain't gonna feel no better if you take a stop in the damn sun. Okay. Still a few hours away from Haven Point. Almost there. Fuck, man. Shit, I need a break. No, there's no point taking a break in the sun. Stop. I can't run for miles in this heat. Oh, he's telling me not to run. That's fine. We can walk, but... Oh, this is a damn struggle. Now, there's shade there. I feel like it's a bad idea to stop in the shade, though. Yes. Shade. Oh, man. My Probably a bad idea. Me. Feels like hiking in hell. Never drew a desert before. Huh. It's so... Empty and quiet. Got a good picture of it. Draw on time, I'm ready baby. To draw now. Okay. Just draw now. Don't think about anything else. This place is so empty. <laughs> At least I won't mess up perspective for once. <laughs> hey. I guess that's I'll look at the bright side. But I can keep going. Got a good picture of it. I'm ready to draw now. There's the magic. <sighs> okay. Just draw now. Don't think about anything else. I could try adding details. Focus a bit more. <laughs> draw hell. Rather not. I got a good picture of it. I'm ready to draw now. Man. My eye always starts hurting when I focus for too long. We're gonna die from a dang eyeball infection. <sighs> Shit. My throat feels like sand. Oh. Alright, let's go. Go, Tom. Last thing we need is for more dang single digit chromosome count for people be messing okay. with us. Feels like I haven't seen him in years. Of course I miss everything about him. Even his whining. Yeah, you can wait to oh, get it's out a of wolf. Here. Fox. Coyote. Something. And it sucks. Should I follow it? No, let's just keep going. Wow, this is gonna take forever if we're moving like this, dude. Gun stores, churches, casinos. Jesus! Am I an actual snowflake? <sighs> Come on, buddy. You gotta go. It's a car. Oh, shit, there's a truck coming. Oh, God. I'd rather not get a ride from the truck, to be honest with you. Whoa. Is he honking at me? Oh no. He's stopping. Uh, okay, uh. Escape! Cool. Escape! Just. Uh, 
See what he wants. No, oh, thank you. Whoa! Ah, oh, shit. No, it's nature. Stick to the road. Nah, nah, I'd rather go away from the road, to be honest. I saw a nature show about desert rattlesnakes. So fuck that way. <laughs> Alright. Uh, let's not go to the truck, though. I'd rather go past the truck. I feel like the trucks are bad. I don't want to get kidnapped. can't be cops. Right. Good. What's up, homie? Hey, need a lift? It's too damn hot to be walking. Man, this hard decision. I'll walk. I'll walk. Screw nah, it. I'm just gonna walk. All right, kid. If you want to roast out there, it's it's your call. I'll be fine. Thanks. Yeah, I ain't going out like that. If I can help it. I don't want to get kidnapped. No, in this game, that dude would dang snatch me up and murder me. Back to square one. Maybe I should have trusted that guy. Nah. We'll do this the hard way if we have to. I'm not risking getting snatched up by some rando. Jesus. Give me a speed boost or something, Jesus. <laughs> God damn. How am I supposed to trust anybody when you've been screwing me this whole game play? <laughs> the Life of Strange Creators have been screwing me the whole time and they're like, maybe I should have trusted that guy. <laughs> no. <laughs> How about no? Oh, we made it. Is this Nevada safe haven or whatever it is? Life is a gamble. Bet on the Lord. Oh, he freaking made it. Happy Easter. Wow. Forgot about Easter. Great. We don't have to I mess with the cult. Of time. That's always fuck, mm, always phenomenal when you have a cult to mess with. Hope those people are caring Christians, like our grandparents. Yeah, it's a cult. We're pretty screwed. You're right. Oh, she's. You okay now? She doesn't look gone? okay, dog. I... I think. <laughs> Good. Scoot back inside now. Okay, Dad. He's got a crazy bald spot. What's up, bald spot? Uh... Hello there. Hello. Is everything alright? Yeah, yeah. Uh, don't worry. You here for the service? Of course. I'm looking for someone, uh, too. Not really. Looking for someone. Don't be shy. Everybody's welcome here. No matter who you are or where you're from. Well, that's nice. Eyes, we are all equal. Plus, we have a pretty nice spread after the service. Stay as long as you want. Okay. Um, thanks. <laughs> Don't thank me. I'm just a vessel for our reverend. Thank her. <laughs> Looks like you're here to see our new miracle, right? What miracle? Uh, 
What miracle? I need to start playing like a skeptic. You haven't heard of him? Daniel? I won't spoil it for you. Is it Daniel? He'll be here any minute now. That's probably Just Daniel using his magic. Yourself. God dang. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise it. That right. poor little girl. <sighs> yeah. Very humble. That poor little girl. Her cough sounds real bad. Hmm. Oh, feel that cold air. Oh, thank Claire God, pretty much the same ones. <laughs> Cute. Mm -mm, I don't feel it. Picnic with Daniel? What's going on? Huh, so Daniel is here. You got donate to go see Daniel? Oh, we're so screwed. I take care of people. Maybe they need think. Can I take my pen now? Well, I, I did donut. Achievement. Wait. <laughs> Daniel's Wait. looking rough, dog. The angel Daniel? Oh, shit. The real uh, nice picture. Wonder if she's in charge of this community. Not. Better clean up first, so I don't scare Daniel. Oh no, Daniel became the leader of a cult in one short episode. Wonderful. That's better than nothing. I guess. Oh shit, they're rocking back and forth. Now. <laughs> oh, I scary. Your Holy Spirit. I want to hear your story. Oh, shit. I will yeah. draw too much attention. Better try upstairs. My brothers and sisters. The world is in trouble. Ah, nice. Balcony. Thank you, boy. We hear that word a lot, but faith is not just a word, my brothers and sisters. Oh no. What is She's a faith? nut. Remember Luke 18, 27. What is impossible for man is possible for God. With that righteous faith comes the salvation of your souls. Can you cross that invisible bridge to salvation? Do you want your soul to be saved, brothers and sisters? Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. oh yes, you are not like all these sinners out there. Give me your money. So I never asked the Lord for a sign. Then he gave me one. Daniel. He spoke to me and told me that I was doing right. And to reward our great faith, the Lord sent me the ultimate gift. Yes, An angel, a child graced with the power of God. Yes. The miracle we have all been praying for, waiting. Why for do you guys want a psychic yes, child? Oh, hallelujah. Oh my God. Do you have faith? in his power. Oh, 
Do you have faith in me? Then please She's welcome a nun. our newest member and our latest miracle, the angel Daniel. Praise you, Daniel. Daniel looking like Friar John over there with that bowl cut. prophet who was thrown to the lions by false prophets but God saved Daniel so he could do his work yes uh, Daniel was brought to me to deliver us to guide us from the wilderness to our destiny now Daniel will reveal the true power of the Lord he gonna explode to my head don't do it Daniel did I teach you not to use your powers for dumb stuff? These people in the crowd are orgasming. Till that cross attacks you. Bless you, Dan. Rise. Get up. I can't believe it. Stand. Oh, God. Thank you, Dan. Daniel's been touched by God. Oh, it's a miracle. I can't believe it. Jesus. 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 Thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, this is going to suck. Daniel's not even going to come with us, I bet. He's going to be a whole dick about it. Until I prove she's a nut. With your own eyes. Now we have a voice. A messenger. Our flock keeps growing. I see more and more new faces. But hmm. this is only the beginning. You must spread the word. Oh, yes. uh. Bear witness to this miracle. Thank you so much for coming. And God bless all of you. Wonderful. Praise you, Daniel. Donate your money. Here it comes. As our Reverend said, we do appreciate your Told you. donations. This helps us keep our church and to spread the word of God. Oh yeah. There's only a few tickets left for our picnic raffle next Sunday. Don't miss the child and another miracle. Any questions, please talk to me outside. Bless you for coming today. <laughs> that sucks. Now we're torn if we should take him or not because he seems like he's doing all right, but... Oh, we need to... Uh... This is going to be rough. That's some nice shoes. Hi. Oh, oh, girl. Uh, oh, that's hi. a little sick girl. I saw you out in that parking lot earlier. Mm hmm Yep. That was me. I like to be here, too. We can see the whole room, and it's where a reverend mother teaches us classes. <coughs> Whoa. Lord, she's dying. You okay? Need some water? Bloodshot eyes. Uh, and... uh, no, sorry. I'm just kind of sick. Oh, that sucks. Oh, that's too bad. <coughs> that sucks. Hey, what What's happened up? to your eye? What happened oh, to your eyes? That's a long story. That's okay. My name is Sarah Lee. What's like the yours? bread. Aw, you must be Jacob's sister. Did you get that letter from Jacob back when he was in California? Yes. <coughs> How did you know he was in California? I was with him. Uh, that's how we met. You are Daniel's brother? Really? 
How do you know that? Always talking about you. Hey, uh, not too loud. Yes, I'm Daniel's brother, but I need some help. The Reverend Mother says we always have to help our neighbor. Ah, oh, there we go. What do you need? I need to talk to Daniel. So, can you take me to Daniel? Oh, yes. He's gonna be so happy when he sees you. He missed you so much for his birthday. This is probably a trap. Surprise. This, is, this seems like a trap, but you gotta do what you gotta do, I guess. Maybe this will work out better than I think. Maybe I'm just being a pessimist. Something's wrong with that kid, too, because he's been acting a little bit weird the whole time. Daniel, you're the living proof of their faith. And mine. I know you understand. I guess... I mean... Sean? What's up, dog? Oh, my. Sean! You came back! Oh, I he's happy it. to see me. That's good. You've grown up and I know... Do I look older? You look like you got what? a bald cut, fam. What happened to your eye? Don't worry. You knocked it out, dude. Did that happen at the farm? Because of... me? I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Ah, this has gone well. I warned you! <laughs> Forget it. It wasn't your fault. I should have... It's okay. Does it... hurt? No. Not as much as your haircut. Shut up. <laughs> it's different. So it's different, like... alright. You like the bowl cut? Sean, I didn't want to leave you there. Nothing I could do. I was so scared. I even thought you were dead. And... It's okay. We're together now. Yes. So, are you going to stay with us now? Huh? I... We still need to go to Puerto Lobos. But... We don't need to. We have a new home now. No! Look! One step at a time, Daniel. Give Sean a chance to process this. I'm sure this is all... so... overwhelming. By the way, my name is Elizabeth Fisher. Smack that hand out of them. paid for your safe return. Sean... You must be a believer now in our Lord, too. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. Uh, kinda. Daniel told me you had faith. That's how you got here. But first, I need Sarah Lee and Daniel. <laughs> I can't believe they medicine. named her after we Sarah have to take Lee Bread. Guest, this is a place of healing. Aww. Let's do it later. I want to talk to him now. Daniel, now. No, okay. don't you talk to Daniel that way. Let's go, Daniel. Whoa, whoa, hold on. Damn, we missed oh, our chance. It's a pleasure to meet you. This is a real blessing today. You were away from Daniel for quite a while. I was in a coma. Of course. <laughs> I wasn't judging you. Hmm. So what is your plan, Sean? This is a blessing. We're going to Puerto Lobos, you freaking wackadoodle. Daniel to have you by his side. You should know that the Lord has big plans for him. I'm leaving here with Daniel. Yes, yes, I know about this reckless journey. Keep your... I'm his family. Two young boys are not a family. What Mark the... 3, 25. Think... house oh, is divided against I was about to say, I don't think that's that in the Bible. cannot stand. <laughs> Daniel sounds more like a prisoner than a guest. It saddens me that you see things that way. 
After everything I've done for him. I know why you're scared, Sean. That's because your heart's full of sins. Oh. Mm. I've heard everything. I hate self-righteous people like this. Sean. And I cannot let a sinner like you into my community. Not until you make penance. What? Are you serious? I'm sorry, my son. I'm not your son. And Daniel isn't gonna be your golden cow. Daniel, come on! Why don't we ask him what he wants to do? Do not touch me! Yeah, she just flopped like what a goddamn fuck? fish. Acting like we hit her. What did you do? Nothing. Enough. You spilled blood. This In bitch right here. Sean! Home. What happened? This fucking Your bacon ass bitch. Came in here, impure and acting like a criminal. And her damn scarf keeps flopping everywhere. God. I'm sorry, Sean. She's right. Are you fucking kidding me, dude? For you. Ben, when you're ready, we can. She's trying to manipulate you. Let me lead you to the one true light. I'm gonna lead you to a damn uppercut, bitch. I want to be your friend. You're crazy. Let's get out of here, Daniel. Daniel? I want to stay. Damn, I should have told him he knocked my eyeball out. There's your answer, Sean. We're together again. So we can go, right? Come on. Get off me, dude. What? I hate Daniel, Daniel dude. Oh my Let god. Go, asshole. <laughs> Daniel! They're not your family. Stop it. You just need to have faith. Mm. We'll be waiting. Daniel! It's okay, Sean. Sean. Daniel! <sighs> There you go. Stay out of the walls worse. Now don't you ever come back. Daniel makes my life so damn hard. Come on, kid. Don't make me do this. You're you can not do it if you want. Win. I'm gonna win. Damn, I keep getting my ass whooped. Ever since I punched that one kid and he died, I haven't won a fight yet. Daniel! Daniel! You're pissing me off. You're pissing me this off. This is private property. I have a legal right to stop any intruders like you. I just want my brother. But he doesn't want you. That's what it seems like. He was brought here, and this is where he's staying. Next time, I will not hesitate to use this. Now get out of here. Daniel, hey! Daniel. Sean? You motherfucker. Oh wait. Is that his mom? You won't. I thought that was a hippie. Like this. Who are you talking? Let's go. Karen? No one cares about you, you jackass. Ah, uh, game's damn rough. Ah, uh, Daniel pisses me off, dude. Like for real. Lagging a little bit. Sean, what happened to your eye? Daniel knocked it the fuck out. What do you mean? <laughs> God. Why the hell are you here? How did you find me? Well, um, I got a letter from uh, Jacob. He said you were missing. And that Daniel needed help. I believed him. Jacob's the one that turned so him in. So finally decided to check on him. You know, Sean, sooner or later, we're going to have to talk. Where are we even going? I already have a hotel room. You're going to need to rest and clean that dressing. 
Man. part has not been going ideal ever since part three this game has felt really bad like just bad stuff after bad stuff keeps happening well since part one but daniel's been a dick since part three ugh Get my ass whooped by everybody. boxers man didn't clean the pain away but that felt good Karen seems to be on the move quite often damn looking Can rough Chad Gotta change that dressing soon. With what? What are we gonna chase the dressing with? Alright, Karen. What's up? Oh, where'd she go? Wonder how long Karen has been here. Did she see one of Daniel's miracles? Wonder if Karen's been magical. Oh wait, there's a thing in there. Grab that. Kind of pretty. Hmm. Wonder if she made it. I know I shouldn't peek, but she got condoms. Whatever. Glad to know she learned the lesson. Karen did her own road trip to get here. Turning forward to look back, making the same choice twice, twice. My solitude days of dreamy nights just to find myself looking forward to, look, to turn back. Weird. Writing poems and shit. Damn. Karen does like to capture the world around her. Tracing closer every mile, my heart goes racing sore. I remember and know the feeling. There's no fighting back, that beating, tearing apart my core, early morning blues, coffee, red-eyed truckers, and sad families. Bad eggs, not the waitress's fault. She is a quick, hurried one, probably ending at long night shift. Tag says Clementine, 22-ish, red-headed, red dyed brunette. Eyebrows and skin tone don't lie. Irish descent, owner's daughter maybe, Mahoney's, vague, polite smile, busy mind, mind, mildly clumsy, looks distracted, anxious, young cook called her Clemmy, boyfriend, brother, boyfriend, boyfriend, apologizes when the orders are late, and she's the one getting roasted. Do mom and dad know you're dating on the job, Clemmy? Mixing up work and love seldom makes a good match. That a brand new baby bump under the stained apron. 2017 and young folks are still busy making babies. I guess nothing ever really changes. Weird. Well, that's weird. So Karen did check it out. 
Wonder if she saw Daniel in action. Probably. This country is just way too big. Karen was always into low tech. I even think it's the one she had back then. Uh, it's not Nokia. We've come a long, long way, buddy. Through that. This thing is killing my back. I got bruises on my bruises. I think I already read this. Yeah. What is this? Hi, Sean and Daniel. I hope you're okay. I'm fine. Both I miss both of you a lot. When are you coming back? Dad has been better lately. He says hello, and we are fishing now that summer is here. We do a lot of stuff outside now. All the snow is gone. You should come back to see Beaver Creek without the snow. I will be waiting for you, Chris and Captain Spirit. Yes, we need to save Beaver Creek from swamp bugs. Interesting. What is this? We are grateful to find out that you're safe and awake. The police contacted us when you were found unconscious in Humboldt County. We aren't allowed to visit you in the hospital, but we want you to recover ASAP. The doctors say that you woke from the coma stronger than before. The most important thing now is to find Daniel. We are helping the police any way we can. They really want to help find him too, Sean. So hopefully this reflects well during your trial. We know this must be hard for you after everything you and your brother have been through. You're both in our thoughts and prayers every day and night. Remember, you are family and we love you. We hope to visit you and Jolene Shore as soon as we can. Take care, Claire and Stephen. Yes, Chris insisted to write a little note. It's attached to the letter. PPS. He doesn't know Daniel was missing. Doesn't know Daniel became a religious fanatic. This motherfucker grabbed Daniel's stuff I snapped. I got it back though. Good shit. Can't believe this lasted this long. Daniel Strong. Yep, Father of the Weir. Check it seems pretty useless in this heat, but I hear nights are rough out here. Brody's letter. I'm sorry that I can't take you further. I think I have this one forever. There's a as dysfunctional as it can be, family's family. When we met, I was on my way to Utah where my mom is currently losing a battle against cancer and I have to be there. You'll find a few, oh, this is from back in the day. has tried to frame me again. Can't blame her for trying. I had to knock the guard officer out so I could escape. Hated when he called me a cop killer, but I had to do it to save my ass. Fuck. Keep going, Sean. Like you, they don't have enough against you already. I'm so not fit for the trip. Headaches are killing me. Have no cash, no nothing. Cash by, chased by so many ghosts, but gotta focus. Under what's important, reach Nevada, find Daniel. Fucking miracle, I haven't been in a wreck yet. Gonna pull over soon so I can get rest. Something, something. Racist dickheads beat the shit out of me because I wouldn't let them humiliate me. My stomach, whole body hurts, stomach, lungs, but I don't care. My only priority is to find Daniel. No more gas, gotta walk. End of road. End of the road. Walking for the remaining miles to Haven Point through the desert, no food, no water. My eye and skin burn like hell. Might actually die here. Ten miles away from finding Daniel. No, gotta hold out for him. Okay, Daniel has been brainwashed by a cult. He wants to stay with them, and I'm fucked up. And I fucked up with this reverend. I just fell into her trap. I'm so stupid. Also, Karen, what the fuck is she doing here? How did she find us? Don't want anything from her. Nada. Life is rough. This thing is killing my best. It's not life is strange. This game is life is rough. <laughs> Freaking game. I got bruises on my bruises. Be 
right back. Popped out for supplies. We'll find out. I'll grab some food in case you want to eat. New socks and shorts in the bathroom. All yours if they fit. Might be a good time to contact Jacob. His number's on the letter he sent. Be right back. Aaron. Jeez. It only took Super Mom eight years to give a shit. Dear Miss Diaz, my name is Jacob and I work with your son and Sean and Daniel on a farm in California. There were some problems and Sean went missing. I'm with Daniel now in Heaven Point, Nevada. He gave me his P.O. Box address, so if you get this, I think Daniel might be in danger. He needs help to get out of here. I can tell you more if you contact me at this number, 775-555-0118. Please hurry. Thank you, Jacob. I think we'll have to catch these goddamn huh. here. This isn't our tablet. Yay, technology. She came prepared. The Reverend Mother doesn't look too humble. One of the great mysteries of Nevada is how to balance this, the Holy Spirit with the Holy Dollar. Few tourists travel from around the world to seek religion here, but in the tight-knit Christian community of Heaven Point, Nevada, a charismatic pastor has inspired a devout following. As she told me in an interview at her peaceful church office, Reverend Elizabeth Fisher has spent her whole life as a humble disciple of the Lord. Filling the call to share his love and glory in this dark age, I had a powerful experience as a child that put me on the righteous path. She smiles gently and touches my hand, but this is not about me or my story, as anybody in our wonderful church can tell me, and tell me they did. And the members of the Universal Uprising Church speak with hushed awe of their pastor and how she inspires them. Reverend Fisher just wants to share her blessings with us, says Corey Johnson. 34, a recent addition to our congregation. I was pretty cynical before I went to one of her revivals. You feel the electricity when she spoke. People were crying, including me. Lane. Looks like a roach motel. Nice pull, but dusty spot. Nobody will find me there. That's a lot to read. Okay. Welcome to the new life at the Universal Uprising Church, Haven Point. Therefore, you therefore go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to obey everything I have commanded of you. And surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. Matthew 28, 19 through 20. Mission, accept the Lord, spread the word of Jesus, keep faith in the community to seek and save the lost. Luke 19, 10. A message from Reverend Mother Elizabeth Fisher. As the pastor of a holy church, I have devoted my life and love to the teachings of the gospel and our Lord. I was blessed since childhood to be given this calling, and this is my privilege to spread the word and preside over the this loving, righteous community of Haven Point. I look forward to meeting each and every one of you with humble refuge. Together we will begin the journey to a new life guided by the Spirit of the the Lord and Savior bless you all. God damn. Too much stuff. Exit. Is there nothing else I Looks can do? Looks like a roach motel. But nobody will find me there. I really should finish reading this someday. Let's call Jacob, I guess. Hello? Jacob, it's me, Sean. I'm here to rescue Daniel. No way. Hopefully. I've been waiting to hear from you for months. So you, you found my note in your sketchbook? Yeah. Where are you? You have to come here, Sean. I know. I'm not far. In a motel. Wait! Daniel, how's he doing? Meet me tomorrow afternoon on Brady Highway. There's a, a, a junction just above Haven Point. No, I don't know, be a trap dog. There. I'll be there at four. Jacob, wait! I can't talk, Sean. Be there tomorrow. Please. Better not be a damn trap, Jacob. 
Better not be a dang trap. Damn. Damn, really damn, talk. damn. I'm not oh, this going is so out. messed up. Better wait for Karen in here. This place is quite remote. Good. Birds. At least nobody will be looking for me here. Draw. Quick draw McGraw. I got a few moments to myself, so let's practice. That's hard only having one eyeball. God. I wonder who lives around here. It's so wild and huge. Okay. Just draw now. Don't think about anything else. I need to change my eyeball patch. I guess that's an okay start. But I can keep going. Got a good picture of it. I'm ready to draw now. Hmm. I could see myself stopping by this motel during a road trip. Excuse me. <laughs> Taking a dip in the pool after a long ride. What was that thing? A god dang These octopus. Really Cthulhu. That Cthulhu? That looks like a Cthulhu. Huh. That's a cool drawing. All right. Back to reality, dude. What else can we do? I guess I can see if there's anything to shut my eye, do my eye with, maybe. Uh, I don't know. What do you want from me? I don't see anything to change my eye patch with. Get in, get out. I guess we can look at Karen's note. Be right back. Oh, I already did. We'll find out. Wait for Karen, I guess. Where are you at, Karen? Let's just rest while I wait for her. If she comes back. I turned the TV on myself, but whatever. Must have passed out. Oh, hey, damn. you bring Sorry food? It took so long. You're good. The fucking store was packed. Thought you abandoned us again. How are you feeling? Shit. <sighs> Nothing broken? Alter boys don't fight fair? Yeah. I'm okay. Double cheese, no onion. Right? Wrong. That'll do. That'll do. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Oh. What was that, babe pig in the city? Got you some gauze and uh, antibacteria stuff. Thanks, dog. For your eye. Hey, don't wolf that down. Don't tell me what to do. At least take a breath. <sighs> like you care. Ha! <laughs> Shot sure. her. I do. Come on, Karen. Don't act all hurt. It's too late. Where were you when I broke my leg when I was 13? Not with me. When Daniel got a bad flu a couple years ago, you didn't sleep next to him every night. Where were you? Where were you? Fair enough. <laughs> Good answer. Talk, Fair enough. Because we do have to get your brother out of a cult. I'm listening. How did you two survive alone on the road for that long? We're Diaz's. Dad taught me responsibility. He always wanted us to know how to take care of each other. 
Good. How did you go to Beaver Creek? You know, I don't have to answer your questions, right? You're right. So tell me what you want from me, Sean. Nothing, Karen. I mean, what do you want from me? Yeah, pretty much. A fucking hug? Hey, I just want you to know what I did and why. Well, tell us you then. Care? Go ahead. So, ask me anything. Oh, an AMA? Why did you leave? All right. Why did you bail on us? I wasn't meant to be a wife or a mother. What a shitty I reason. I was supposed to. I tried to pretend for many years, but I was unhappy, and the urge to leave just became unbearable. Hmm. I had no other choice. Are you serious? You chose this life. You fell in love. You made your own choices, right? Yeah. And you ran away Making from your home. own choices doesn't mean you can never fool yourself, Sean. After I had Daniel, you were about eight, and Esteban's garage was getting busy. There was so much going on around me, yet somehow I just felt that my own life was just slipping away. Hmm. Felt like an empty shell. Weird. Sean, it was the hardest decision I ever made. <laughs> I knew I might never see you all again, but I took that responsibility. I took that responsibility. Oh. So you just dumped us so you could be free? Yeah. Yes. That's exactly what I did. You're just so fucking selfish. What a so fucking what exactly are you doing in Nevada? Hmm. You live around here? No. I'm uh, way out in Arizona. Sean, I told you. Your friend uh, Jacob wrote my P.O. box and said Daniel was in trouble. That's it. Arizona? Holy shit. It's just lizards and rocks. Yes, I found something there. What'd you find there? New York okay. didn't really do me good, so. Probably got cooked on drugs for a hot minute. Yeah. Okay. The way you're twitching around. I think I've heard enough. I didn't have a choice, Sean. What do you mean? You only have one life. Oh and my god. I didn't want mine to be spent in regrets. For years. I fooled myself. Shouldn't have fucking had sex then. Unsafe sex or whatever it is. And that oh, Lord. was my mistake. I hope someday you can understand that. Oh. But I never stopped caring about you. For what it's worth, oh. I am sorry for hurting you and Daniel and Esteban. Too fucking late. I'm not. We were a real family. Without you. Well, yeah. Esteban was bitch. meant to be a father. I knew he would take care of you the way you deserve. Except he's dead. We've got no one left. God, she's a fucking bitch. Lord almighty. If you don't want kids, don't have kids. Fucking science. Sean, whatever you want to say to me, this is the time. If you don't want kids, don't have kids, you stupid bitch. God damn. So, what did you do when you left? Where did you go? I pursued some dreams and failed. Learned the lessons. I guess all this time I tried to find out what really matters to Which me. Which doesn't involve a husband and two kids. It does to a lot of people. And I totally respect that. Just not to me. I wasn't good at making plans. Which is what most of modern life is about, right? School, job, 
marriage, asked my mom and dad. They wanted me to follow their rules, their faith. Oh, I tried, but I wanted to find my own way, with no security blanket. Family, religion, social norms. It's just all about security, after all. But it all just looked like a sweet golden jail to me. I tried to escape that. Was it worth it, you stupid bitch? Yeah. Hope it was worth it. It was. For now, I've found my place in the world with like minded people. I'm at peace with my fuck ups and my decisions. Hmm. How do you make peace with bailing on your parents, your husband? And your kids. I know, that's hard to understand. But I think people should know who they are. And not fake it for anybody. Maybe they should know who they are before they make decisions. I hmm. Mean, That'd be really weird. Get you wanted people did that. that stuff. Take okay. responsibility and shit before you, you like, like make that. a decision. Not even a fucking hmm. birthday card. I just I thought if I vanished, you would all move on. But I wanted to contact you guys so many times. I almost did. Good thing you didn't. We definitely needed to move on. Yeah. That was the idea. So, did you ever actually miss us? Or Dad? Of course, Sean. <laughs> I do miss your father. He had such a big heart. He could brighten up a rainy day. That was like his superpower. But above all, I missed watching you grow up. See how you saw the world. I missed sharing these moments with you, Sean. That was your decision. Well, that's your loss. I don't expect you to believe me. But I mean it. <laughs> Whatever. You sound so... careless. It's like you can't even realize how much pain you've caused. I do care. That's why I'm here. <laughs> oh, yeah. To help you and your brother. If I didn't step up to help him now, I couldn't live with myself. I ain't asking him for a damn smoke. Oh, man. Esteban hated when I smoked. He didn't want me to die an early death. Fuck. Life can be so cynical sometimes. Yeah, but he died trying to protect his kids. Long ago. We didn't fight much, but when we did, I would go out on the porch and light up so I could calm down. Esteban would come over and ask for a drag. And then we'd just look up at the sky and watch the stars. Or the planes. I do miss that. I used to do the same with my best friend Lila. Sitting on the porch. Just letting time go. That's when you know someone is good to you. When you can just sit together. <laughs> shut the hell up and watch the universe do its own thing. We should go back inside. I gotta change this dressing. Okay. Let's go. <sighs> Sean, I know I can't change the past. Or what I did, but this is about helping your brother. 
You gotta trust me this one time. No, I don't. Not after what you did. Yeah. But yes, you have proven that you are not trustworthy. We have to be a team to rescue Daniel. We can do it. Okay. How? We need to get in touch with this Jacob. He obviously knows a lot more than us about the church. Well, I must see him tomorrow at 4 p.m. We can meet with him tomorrow. Okay, good. I also got these, just in case. Walkie talkies. Okay. Better take care of the eye. So, do you need any help with that? Not from you. You'll probably put my eye out. No. I got this. So, you feel like telling me the story here? Not really. Gotcha. Here, try this on. It's a damn eye patch. Wonderful. It's the best thing she's done so far. How do I look? Like a goddamn pirate, son. Arr. Big day tomorrow, so we should get some rest. Yeah. I'm ready to get Daniel. Me too. Yeah, I'm not forgiving that chick. There's no I can. Hmm. Everybody sees things differently, but I can forgive a person like that. My God. Definitely when she bald faced, it was like, oh, yeah, it was worth it. <laughs> Leaving y'all was definitely worth it. Peace, son. Yeah. Oh, oh, I would have been heated if I was him. He took a lot better than I would have. I would have just been like, all right, bitch, I'll see you later. I got to go check on Daniel. <laughs> God damn. The meeting point. The next day. Where you at, Jacob? Probably gonna get attacked. Jacob probably turned us in. Sure he's gonna show up? I don't know why you'd he ask better. us to be here if he, he wasn't going to. Well, if he doesn't find us... <laughs> I patched we'll up. Him. I can't believe how much crap you guys have been through. That's mostly your fault. Crazy. Makes me want to punch in the face each and every asshole that got in your way. Yeah. Good thing we got to meet amazing people, too. Life on the road is all about that. The sweet encounters. Hope I can see them again someday. Oh, you will. So Who did we? Oh yeah, we did What's meet some like? cool people. He's special. He's a little rascal. He never stops. Just like you did, you know. I wish I could have said he was an asshole, because he. Is that, Is that him? Mm. Yep. Wait here. Uh oh! Watch out! They might shoot at us, dog. Oh no, it's just Sam. Okay, good. Oh damn, he shaved his facial Sean, hair off. What happened? What happened to you? Jake, I'm not mad, but you better explain everything. I didn't know where else to go. Listen, I, I saw Daniel come back to the camp that night. Like, he was in shock or something. Then I heard all these sirens and... I got scared. I just, I packed a few things, I, I took a blanket from your tent, and we, we left together. Man, I should have told Daniel that, and he messed up my eyes. I should have guilt tripped him. On the farm. Uh, it's but, I wouldn't do it in real home. life. You 
You did right, Jake. Thank you. You have no idea what he looked like when I found him that night, Sean. He was in bad shape, shocked and mute, and all by himself. I couldn't just leave him there. What about the others? Hannah, Penny, what happened to them? They, they ran over to Meryl's place when they found out Finn and Cass were gone. That was the last time I saw them. Then on our way out here, Daniel told me more about what happened that night. Finn's murder. The blast. Daniel feels he's got to redeem himself for what he did. I need to get to him, Jacob. He's not guilty of anything. I should have protected him better. I'm telling you to be careful with the Reverend Mother. She's waited her whole life for somebody like Daniel. The Reverend knows how to manipulate people. She's good at this. You gotta catch in these hands to too. Stay with her. Daniel has faith in the Reverend now. Yeah, not afraid of that Lisbeth of yours. I'm getting Daniel out of here. Come on. What do you what There's do you mean no come way. on? They're gonna let you take him away. Well, too bad. We're not gonna ask for their permission. You must be Jacob. I'm Karen. Hi. Okay. I don't know if you want to do this, but I I have an idea. Okay, what's up? I what's think the idea? School must be over by now. But Lisbeth will stay at the church with Daniel for his special classes. That'll give us time to sneak into the compound before we get to them. I'll be on the lookout. Keep watch in case it all goes to shit. Sean, stay on the walkie. Sounds like a plan. One more thing. Hmm. I, uh, we have to get my sister, too. Sarah Lee. <laughs> really, Jacob? Come on, man. She's with your parents. Yeah. I know. Please, listen, Sean. She's not safe here. She's sick. They believe in everything Lisbeth says. And she says she'll cure Sarah with prayers. I know you want to. We'll save her too. Screw right. it. Yep, Damn, we'll save her Jake. too. We'll save the bride and girl. Need his help too, Sean. Okay, Jake. I'm listening. It's not like, yeah, Lisbeth one more crime's gonna hurt me. What's wrong with Sarah Lee? We just, we need to find her medical record. I think it's in her home office. Then I'll go get Sarah Lee while you get Daniel. Okay? Fine. Sure. I'm gonna trust you on this, Jacob. All good for you, Karen. What if Daniel won't go with you? He will. I know him. Ah, uh, I don't know him. Uh, you have a lot more faith in him than I do. Lord Almighty. I don't have that much faith in Daniel, to be honest with you, after, um, this whole game. <laughs> yeah, I don't mind trying to save Bread Girl as well. She's not a bad person. It'd be kind of selfish for me just to save Daniel. It's kind of messed up to take him from her parents, but... The cult. All right, let's do this. Hopefully, I don't get shot by that one dick. Karen, I'm in place. I can see the whole camp. Let me know if you need anything. Be careful, Sean. Yeah. Got it. Thanks. We gotta be careful now. If anything happens, let me do the talking, okay? Yeah, of course. Let's get this over with. Okay, Lisbeth's house is right behind the church, so in and out. Okay. And you sure Lisbeth will have those files on your sister? Watch out, Sean. There are people right outside. Oh, shit. How many? Alone on the other. 
Got it. Thanks. People aren't supposed to come and go around the church once the service is over. Better to avoid them if we can. What we're doing, Doc? Oh, that dude saw me. He's out. He can see us. Karen, everything all right? Yeah, don't worry about me. I found the best hiding spot. The view is kind of great. Cool. Be careful, though. You never know. Thanks, Sean. I will. All right. I wonder who that is. Who's over there chilling in that chair like a goddamn watchdog? So, did you grow up out of here? No. In another community back east. When Elizabeth came out here to start Haven Point, my folks fall. I got time Can't for your story, Jacob. He lives in this depressing house. Oh, we did it. Now we have a little bit more time. Yes, we do. Nice work. So where are the files? Right there, in her office. Oh, of course it's locked. Of course it's locked. Her open door speech is just another lie. <sighs> her open door speech. In. Fuck. Think there's a key somewhere? Maybe she's too cautious not to have a spare set around. What's that thing dang on? Oh, it's just so thing. Whoa. Are you okay, Jake? Yeah. Yeah, no. It, it's just so full of memories and stuff. Coaxing lesson one. Get Daniel his favorite cereal. Squeaking axe. Whoa. This place is worse than army camp. Ah. <laughs> uh, hmm. Daniel's haircut makes much more sense now. Oh, bow cut ass. This is a lot of pills. Especially for someone who doesn't believe in science. Did she teach Daniel how to play this? Is this Daniel's room? Yeah. Huh. Man. It's depressing. Well, Elizabeth doesn't believe in material possessions, so... Doesn't mean you need to decorate your house like a prison. Oh, shit. People Dear are really Daniel. all over his power. I know you may never read this, but I had to reach out so after witnessing your Holy Spirit last week. I'm a sinner. I have not been going a church-going woman for years, but I heard this story from my neighbor about Elizabeth Fish and her miracles. I could feel the Lord speak to whisper to me, and when I drove all the way from Truckee to Haven Point, when I saw your angel face, I knew my faith was coming back. You showed us that God is alive and walking, working through Daniel. You raised the cross like he raised Jesus. I have found my faith again and am more strong than ever. You were sent to prove that God's love is real. I am saving money to see you again, and I pray I can be in, of your service forever. Your servant, Lori Conway. P.S. If you want to talk, here's my number, 208-555-0156. What is this? Happy birthday, Daniel. Hey, yo-yo. Is she forcing him to do this? Why is he accepting all that? Because he feels guilty, I guess. He looks happy. <laughs> Fuck. I can't believe I missed it. It looks kind of damn creepy, dog. To me, anyways. That looks creepy as hell. <laughs> Whoa. Daniel still has this. Doesn't have I my bracelet it. anymore. What a waste. The Book of Daniel. So much for a hot dog, man. Where you know that? <laughs> They're so cute. All animatized. This is quite the change from Power Bear and Friends. 
locked, of course. Of course. I wouldn't be locked. All right, we gotta find this key, dang it. Don't see anything of interest. She sure likes to gaze at her own success. Whoa, they kicked her out of church? Now they're thirsty. Dear Reverend Fisher, this is Michael Bloom, and I know it's been a long time since we last talked, and I know that our talk was not a happy one. Despite our differences, we all knew you were a devout spirit to be reckoned with. Nobody has ever been surprised by your words and deeds touching so many people. I hope you believe it when I say we are all proud of you, but we are sorry and ashamed for asking you to leave this church without understanding the power of your faith. As you, we need to remind ourselves, mistakes can be life lessons. Even prideful deacons should be humbled before the Lord's of wisdom. We hope you find it in your heart to forgive us, and we would be honored for you to host you for a visit some if you wish. Oh, weird. I kicked her out, and they want her back. What a great fucking family portrait. Terrifying. Is everything all right in there? Uh, yes. We're trying to get into her office. Yeah, got time to be talking to you. Oh, shit. Jacob. Looks like the Reverend Mother got to this letter before Jake. Thank you so much for telling me about Daniel. I'm on my way to Haven Point now, and please let Daniel know without getting him or you in trouble that his family has not forgotten him. I don't know where Sean is, and I hope we can find him too. I hope the best for you, and if you need anything, do not hes hesitate to ask for him here. Well, damn. There's a key. And key. Item get. Okay. Do, 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 do. I found a key. Good. Let's try it. Of course, it's not the right key. Yeah, that will definitely explain what's going on with Daniel. Okay. What the? She's completely obsessed with Daniel, his Daniel, tired after using his gift. Nothing gives him energy ever. After new diet, he acts on his own. Scripture won't impel him. More prayer, more study. Daniel pounding today after lesson. Spare the rod and spoil the child. Not yet. Must show grace. Today, trust in the Lord. I did cry today watching the miracles. The child must be a vessel. What will he deliver onto us and when? Fucking nut. Hey. I found your letter for Jacob. Too bad Lisbeth found it first. She took it from the mail? Damn That's illegal. Man. Yeah. She checks everything that comes and goes into the community. <sighs> Shit. Maybe it opens the other door. Maybe it doesn't open a door at all. Hmm. Cross. Nothing here. Ooh. It's probably Does behind Jesus. Believe in any of this? Fire extinguisher. Mm. Might use that to break the door Might open. Be enough to open that door. We'll try the key first, and then we'll break the lock if we have to. Oh, of course, the fuck not. Yes. Oh, yes. That's the one. Jacob Perfect. looking pretty evil right now. Whoa. Or not, not betray me, Jacob. Is this her personal archive or something? Yeah. She keeps track of everything in here. Jacob looking pretty suspicious right now. Stuff about my sister must be in this one. Okay, I've got something. Must be what you're looking for. Damn. She has pneumonia? That's it? It's pneumonia? We can get that cured, if right? Get, Lisbeth knows damn well she needs medical treatment. That's criminal. She's insane. Look, she has a file on you, too. <laughs> you can take a peek and see how she really treats her flock. Man, what's hmm. all this? Were you like sick? Conversion therapy? Do they... Dun, dun, dun. 
wanted to cure you from being <sighs> pretty much I always showed more interest in boys oh, than girls. He was just gay. <laughs> they thought I was a freak. That's fucked up. A sinner. Is that why you ran away? Yep. <laughs> Took me five years to understand what was up. I was too scared. Oh, he's not gonna betray me then. He's a cool dude. We're good. I really did believe I was a sinner. So I thought I had to atone for my sins. What sins? Atone. Yeah. For what sins? Your preference, bro. Ain't I don't no get sin. How they can preach this kind of crap. Ah, uh, uh, I do met Finn and every nurse. Then, of course not. I, I just didn't know different, Sean. I believed them. Damn, Jake. After Damn, a few Jake. years, I was in a really bad place. I I tried to hurt myself. Mm, that's Elizabeth never good. Was very upset. We had a long chat. She told me I should leave. Hmm. Go see the world and figure things out. I I don't really get her, Sean. But Elizabeth does believe in all of this stuff. I had no clue about your life here. I'm... I'm sorry, Jake. I'm sorry I brought Daniel here. I was just so blown away when I saw what he could do. It was like a real miracle. I, I thought I'd... I'd found my faith again. Instead, I... I just heard him. Yeah, good job. Let's make it right. But let's make things right. We just have to get Daniel out of here. I hope so. And I'll get my sister to a hospital. Have her treated. Alright, let's do it. I hope they'll help her. Go, Tom, before we get caught, guys. Yeah. Anything would be better than here. Right. I just hope they can still cure her. Yeah, they're coming back. What's up? You got company. That thug who works for Elizabeth. He's just holding some files. Doesn't seem to be on to you. This guy is dangerous, Sean. Hey, trust me. I have a good plan to get him out of your way. He'll give you more time. Just give me the word. Do it. Yeah. See what you can do. Sean, we gotta hide. Why we gotta now. hide for? Hurry up. Go in here so we can actually see what's happening. Come on, Sean, we need to hide. I'm hiding, dog. What are you doing? You need to hide. What are you doing? If he finds us here, we're What are you screwed. doing? Go hide! What's wrong with this dude? Hi, you dick. Is he hiding me? Up? Why is my dude not hiding? Why is he just standing over there in the corner? Better tell Elizabeth about this. Did I do something wrong? I should have locked the door, probably. Don't you open that door. What's he doing? Get out of here! Don't you look at the closet. Don't. No. Aw, oh, hell. What? What the fuck is going on? <laughs> she made it just in time. About to get it. Do you think it's gotta be Karen? 
Oh, he's gone. All right, we gotta go. Let's get out of here. Oh, man, that was cool. The fuck? What is it? I think that's the file Nicholas had. There's Nicholas. Take a look. What? Is she trying to adopt Daniel? Exactly. And she's doing it under the table, of course. Man. You should have tore that shit up, dog. Okay. We shouldn't be here. Are you ready? Hold on. Is she actually scared of me? I'm sending you this message. Better get Daniel out of here before she gets too much attention. She's running a typed ship here. Mm, I don't think there's anything worth a look in here. Seriously, how can Reverend she know Fisher, that? I hope you will forgive what must feel like an intrusion. I have great respect for you, what you built over the decade. Hackerman's Lord has chosen you for a reason. I have a long time personal family friend of the Hackerman's, including their precious daughter, who has who has had a too long a time with the illness. There's some. Okay, this is a doctor about the sickness. Fuck. She's done some serious research and still acts all naive. I can't believe this type of shit still happens today. Hmm. Oh wait, there's a next button. That was just about Jacob though. I can't believe this type of shit. Oh, shit. Why did Daniel tell her so much? All right, let's get going, dude. Oh, wait, more. No, I don't need to look at the Bible, so let's get out of here. Get out. Look at that. <laughs> Your mom is hardcore, Sean. She set the damn yeah. thing on fire. Well, I guess she is. Huh. So we're all good now? I'll go get Sarah Lee while you get Daniel. Yep. Then let's meet up at the car, okay? All right. It won't go that okay. easy, but Did we'll do it. Good luck. Don't, don't get shot, dog. Where's Daniel at? Come in, Karen. See anything? No, you're all clear. Awesome. Talk later. I don't know where Daniel would be at, though. Well, of course. <sighs> Locked, of course. Of oh, freaking course. I wish we still had the master key. I don't think it'd work on a doorknob, though. What's up, girl? Mission got news? Accomplished? Yeah. yeah. Gotta find Daniel. Now the hard part. Did you find what Jacob needed? <laughs> and a whole lot more. Thanks. So you know what you're gonna do? No. But let's do it. We're family. He's gonna come with us, hopefully. Oh, Lord. Let your power speak through this young vessel. What is she I doing to him? Humble sure. servant and will obey what the hell your is this? every command. Speak to me. It's Daniel. Speak. I told you he's 
kind of special. Hey. Sean, you came back? Enano, little cub. Come with me, Daniel. We're leaving. I'm sorry, Sean. Why are you being a dick, dude? She's full of shit, dude. And she's uh, yeah, yeah, she's Daniel full of shit. Has made his choice, Sean. That I'm offering you to join us. We got his mom here. More faith in me. <laughs> he wanted to meet her. Family. So that's your final decision. May the Lord have mercy on your lost soul. It's time for you to leave our sanctuary right now. Not without my brother. I'm not going anywhere. This is my home. This is super laggy. Daniel, listen. She's not your family. Sean, who is she? She's your mom. Our mother. She came here. For you. Oh, praise the Lord. Oh, Another praise. miracle at our church. Wonderful. Uh, it's all right, Daniel. Go see her. I mean, she's right there. Don't be afraid. I... Uh, I don't know her. Of course. I know. This is hard for you, my son. Stop calling him that. You're just manipulating him, you sicko. That's in the eye of the beholder. But since you are his mother, let me ask you. How could you let your child wander alone in the wilderness? Where were you when Daniel was lost? Oh yeah, I'll see what where? she says Listen, Daniel, I came here as soon as I found out you were here on your own. I'm not on my own. Children are a gift from the Lord. They are a reward from him. You were blessed. You better with shut up, you dang gift. nut. And you cast him out into He's the world. He's about to beat you up, dog. Who the hell are you? You might have been his mother once, but when you abandoned him, you also gave up your rights. Uh. Isn't your God all about forgiveness? You have no idea what the Bible says. How can you pretend? to care about these two children. You left them and your husband to seek out your base desires. Daniel, honey, she's trying to trick you. Please think by yourself. You're smarter than this. Daniel, she's responsible for what happened to your what father. What the fuck? You don't know anything. It was an accident. That's what this world is about. Accidents, injustice, pain. I'm just so sorry, Daniel. I know. I know how much I hurt you and your brother by leaving. I know that's not enough, but I hope we can talk about this together. That's what I've been trying to do. Somebody's going to get shot here. And I'm so glad he listened. You got to trust us. She's using you for her selfish desires. Daniel, this time the choice is yours. You better not listen to that wackadoodle, Daniel, or I'm going to be real pissed. I, uh, I... That's right. You can't tempt Daniel from this garden. He'll stay with us, his true family. You ain't and his we'll true family. never leave him. Bitch. The hell. Come on, Daniel. No! Damn, you hit me again. You did it again, dude. You're such a... Reverend, are you okay? Nicholas, they're, they're heretics sent to desecrate our, our church. Okay, what now? Don't you understand? This is over, Sean. You have to talk to him. You can convince him, Sean. I won't leave you, Daniel. Daniel, Not damn, here. hit me Don't again. Be so stubborn, uh. Sean. Your brother chose his path. Your friend, Sara Lee, she's very sick. And Lisbeth won't take her to a doctor. What? She won't do this that. This is pointless. Daniel I have knows proof. who to trust. A 
minister from another church even sent her a letter warning her that she's taking too much risk, that Sarah needs to see doctors. But I don't want Sarah Lee to be hurt. Have faith in me, Daniel. I know what I'm doing. No, God she is speaking to me. What's he saying? And you about to catch to his hands? Okay. She's doing paperwork to adopt you and change your last name in Anu. Dad's name. Are you okay with that? What? I. No. I didn't know. Is that why that card said Daniel Fisher? Of course not. Ah. He's making everything up. Ah. Don't believe his lies, Daniel. Good thing I looked around. What do you think Dad would say if he saw us right now? He wanted us to stick together. I don't know. I want you to stay, but I'm not ready, Sean. Uh. Huh? See what you have done. Hey, Inano. <sighs> Off. No one is gonna keep me away from you. I said stop. <sighs> Damn, you just gonna watch him kick my ass, Daniel? Is that all you gonna let go? Came all this way for you, and nobody will stop me. I'll even cross hell or whatever if I need. John! He must learn. Damn, Daniel, you let me get my ass kicked again? God damn. Oh, Daniel Listen, sucks. I tell you. I did my best job to be a good brother. And I know I probably failed. I give for granted. I put you in danger. And I'm sorry. Sure. Don't listen to him. He, he left you just like that harlot did. Shut him up. He can hit me as much as he wants. You gonna pile this gun? I won't give up on you. Don't hit him. <sighs> Don't let them do that, Daniel. Get my ass whooped, son. If I could go back in time, I would. We'd be in our living room in Seattle. That would get us pizza I'm looking rough. and snacks. Then pick the movie because we would always fight about it. He always picked your movie. But I can't do that. All I can do now is fight. Quiet! What are you waiting for? We're the best team in Anu. So we have to uh -oh. keep going oh, forward. What are you You're gonna doing? kill him? Please! He's my brother! You can burn down our church, but not our faith. Daniel's Daniel a real fuck. You're telling the truth. Don't give up. I'm gonna get shot, goddammit. <laughs> He's gonna shoot me. <laughs> oh, nothing, man. Nothing is gonna stop me, Daniel. We're brothers. Dad always said, our blood link was the most important thing. You know it. Uh, please! Uh, stop! Ooh. Leave him alone! Daniel, listen to him. Daniel, you suck, dude. You let me get murdered. Oh, Daniel has got to be like the worst little brother ever. <laughs> Lord oh, Almighty. Stop. No matter what she does. I'll come right back. Again. And again. He's gonna shoot me. I love you, Daniel. I do too. She shut him up now. Pew pew. Just stop. If you want to kill me, then do it. I'm not afraid. Do it. Shoot. Don't. Go ahead. What? Shoot me in the face. And live with me. Now I have the gun. Daniel, Sean. I need to grab the gun before she grabs the gun. She's gonna I'm grab sorry. the gun. Sorry. I was so confused. Thought she was someone else. 
I'm sorry. <laughs> that gun's just Shot. sitting there and there's a crazy wackadoodle. Now. Hey, we took the gun. Good, smart, smart. As long as we don't get shot by like the cops or something. Oh no. No. You started this fire. You will all burn in this hell. I'm gonna shoot her. Move. Let us go. Move it. You won't leave this place. Not with me alive. No, oh, well, damn. <laughs> well, you tied my dang hands, it seems. It seems like you've made your choice. Ask Daniel to get her out of the way. No, I'm not putting it on Daniel. You get the fuck out of the way, bitch, or I'll shoot you right I in the move. fucking head. Or I will hurt you. Sean, foolish child. You can't threaten me with death. I embrace it. Shoot her in the I knee. I know what awaits me. Right in the kneecap. Well, no, it looks like you're going down like old yeller. I'm sorry. Oh. <sighs> it was her or us. Yeah, I ain't gonna get your hands dirty. Regardless of how much of a jackass you've been, ain't right to make a kid do something like that. Well, at least the body should get like torched, so we should be good. Probably. We're going to Mexico, anyways. What did you say? My game's lagging real bad. It's like an action scene when they're walking away from an explosion. Going to Puerto Lobos. Ah, to shoot his ass too. Damn, he looking down on that man hard. We did good. We did good. I hate the Life is Strange music. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Did we finally get a good ending to like one of these parts? Actually the second one we had a good ending too. The episode two we had a good ending. Episode one had a bad ending. Episode three had a bad ending. This one seemed like it was gonna have a bad ending, but we did good. That was a good ending. I'm glad we shot that bitch.
To be continued. I think the video is going to be super laggy, but I had a lot of fun. I thought that was a pretty good part. Outside of Daniel being a complete toxic butthole. Goodness gracious, dude. Kid was pissing me off for real. How do we fast forward? I know there's a fast forward button. But yeah guys, thanks for watching as always. If you would, please like and subscribe. And I know this part was a lot uh, longer and it might be like super laggy on my recording, I hope not, but I'll have to figure out what's going on because my OBS has been super laggy today. So hopefully it recorded okay, but I can't make any promises. I'll have to check when I upload it. Yeah. Kind of wanted to beat the whole thing too. I didn't just want to like start it and then do an hour and then stop. I wanted to beat the whole thing. We did well though. I think we made a lot of good decisions there to be honest. We saved the little girl. We saved Daniel. I think my only decision that I super regretted, there was two of them. One was not escaping the correct way. And then, um, not telling Daniel it's his fault that my eyeball got knocked out. I should have been like, I told you what could happen. I should have said that, but I didn't. I would have done that in real life though. If a kid messes up, it's like, it's not your fault. That's just how I react to things. But Daniel, on the other hand, he's being a complete jackass. He needs to learn a lesson sometime. Ever since he got that power, he's just been like super spoiled, dude. Like, have you noticed that when Daniel didn't know he had the powers in episode two, like any time before episode two where he learned he had powers, Daniel was a really cool kid. Once he learned he had powers, like episode three forward, complete jackass. <laughs> like, god dang. All right. We passed one of the vision tests. That one was really hard. So. You tag the guard to escape the hospital. You tag Joe. Oh, I wasn't going to do that. You convince Joey to help you escape. You escape the hospital without hurting anyone. That's what I should have done, but I didn't. Told Agent Flores. Yeah, because it was his idea. Finn wasn't at the hospital. No, shit, he's dead. Yeah, I don't care about Finn, to be honest. Broke Daniel's toy while taking it back from Chad. You didn't try to take the toy back and didn't break it. Nah, I'd screw Chad. Screw Chad, an asshole. You forced to sing and got beat up. You sang the song in Spanish. You were not asked to sing a song. You got into Anton's truck to reach Haven Point. You didn't get into the truck and walked to Haven Point. You gave money to the church. Overall, you tried to let Karen open up to you. Yeah, I tried to let her open up, but I didn't want to talk to her. I thought I was hard on Karen, though. I guess I wasn't. Whatever. Stayed outside with Karen when she smoked. You refused Karen's help, of course. Nicholas was unaware of your presence. Hey, sneaky boy. You didn't give any money to Jacob? Yeah, I didn't give all money to Jacob. I'm trying to escape. You got caught by Nicholas. You managed to hide from Nicholas. Shot Liz Pouse. <laughs> one of the 4%. You saw Elizabeth while Daniel was hurting her. You let Daniel unleash his power on Elizabeth while he was hurting her. You and Daniel both spared Elizabeth's life. Nah. We did good. Nice. I like that. I think I did the best one there. For sure. Alright guys, that was fun. Bye! Oh wait, we got the sneak peek thing going on. Not by yet. That was a good buy, though. We nailed that one. Hmm. We made it, Daniel. What do we do now? Make our way across. On to Puerto Lobos. Oh, shit, it's Trump's wall. You ready? Damn. Yeah. I think. We're going to defeat the wall. Episode 5. Break the wall. With fate awaits Sean and Daniel in Arizona, get to the final episode and find out as soon as it's released. Of course. Alright, this time for real. Bye!